Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be creating this very vibrant uh, pink Valentine's Day makeup look for you all. So if you want to know how I achieve this really pretty, fresh, pink, uh, popping makeup look for the Valentine's Day, then please do continue watching. To begin with, I'm going to take my Miss Claire eyebrow pencil in the shade dark brown and I'm just going to use that to fill in my eyebrows and I'm going a little stronger than usual for today's makeup look since the eye makeup is going to be a lot more vibrant and popping so I'm keeping the brows uh, a little stronger than usual. Then I'm going to take one of my favorite concealers. This is from, from Flower Beauty and the shade is uh, deep, I guess. All the product list uh, will be given in the description box so you can check it out there. So I'm using that concealer as a base for my eyeshadows and also using the concealer to clean up on the bottom area of my brows. Then I'm going to take a concealer blending brush to blend out all of the concealer away. Once that is done, I'm going to pick up the Drama Eyeshadow Palette from Mist Cosmetics and this is such a beautiful eyeshadow palette, perfect for the Valentine's Day. So I'm picking up the matte coral shade from the palette and applying that as a transition on the crease using a fluffy blending brush and making the eyeshadow super blown out on the crease. Then I'm going to pick up this really beautiful deep maroon shade called Hangry and going to apply that on the crease as well using a tapered uh, blending brush and applying this more precisely on the crease um, rather than making it look more blown out because this is to add some more depth and dimension to the crease so I'm keeping it a little bit more precise. Then gonna pick up this very vibrant, uh, beautiful pinkish uh, purple sort of a eyeshadow from the same palette and this is called Wild Card. Again, this is a matte eyeshadow and I'm gonna take that on a pencil brush and keep it extremely precise on the crease, even precise than the previous eyeshadow that I just applied and also applying that to the um, outer corners of my eyes in a winged shape. Then I'm going to use the tapered blending brush to soften the edges of the eyeshadow on the crease. Then I'm going to take this very beautiful metallic foiled eyeshadow from the same palette in the shade Flare which is such a beautiful pink uh, shimmery eyeshadow. So I'm just popping that on the uh, main areas of my eyelid using a flat shader brush. Then gonna take the shade called Beat which is like a beautiful champagne gold um, eyeshadow and just gonna concentrate on the center of the eyelid to make the center of the lids pop a bit more. 
and how do you guys like my new background and these beautiful flowers a beautiful follower of mine sent this to me as a gift and i really really like them so thank you so much for that then i'm going to take the milani prime correct um primer and this is in an orange variant which adds a bit of color correction to your face as well while filling in your pores so i'm just concentrating that on the main areas of my face and using my fingertips to blend in the primer Then I'm going to take the Pack Take Cover Orange Color Corrector and just going to use that to color correct my face and right now my skin has a lot of pigmentation showing through so I need some color correction so applying that on the under eyes um around the mouth on top of the hyperpigmentation and also on top of the acne spots Then I'm going to take a beauty sponge to uh, blend the orange color corrector and to create a nice soft orange tint before I apply my foundation. For foundation I'm taking one of my faves. This is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation in the shade Mahogany and just going to dot it on my face and use a buffing brush to blend out the foundation. It is such a beautiful long lasting foundation and it gives such a beautiful finish on the skin. I really really love this one and it, it is super super long lasting. So I absolutely love this foundation. So I'm just going ahead and applying that foundation to my entire face and also it is such a great color match on me. Also applying whatever is left on the brush to the neck region as well so that there is no demarcation. Again going to take the Flower Beauty uh concealer and just going to apply that to conceal and highlight my face. So applying that to the inner corners of my eyes and also at the outer corners of my eyes and in the same step I'm just going to clean up the wing portion of the eye shadow that I just created on the top lid and applying it on the center of my forehead on top of my brows to sharpen them a bit more on the bridge of my nose on my cupid's bow and my chin. Again going to pick up the concealer blending brush and just going to blend everything away. To set everything in place I'm using the Elf uh loose setting powder in the shade medium and I'm going to pick up that uh powder on a tapered powder brush and just going to bake underneath my eyes while I finish off my eye makeup and also applying a little bit on the sides of the nose as well. Then I'm going to take this Huda Beauty dual um eyeliner kajal sort of a thing and first I'm going to pick up the pencil side which is the kajal and I'm just going to apply that to my lower waterline and my lower lash line. I got this eyeliner and a mascara from Huda Beauty at a great great combo pack. I'll put the link in the description box and I did save a lot of money um while purchasing them. So yeah, I'm just applying that on the lower waterline and my lower lash line a little thickly. Then I'm going to take the shade called Wild Card again on a pencil brush to smooth out my lower lash line and the kajal. Once that is done I'm going to take the liquid liner side from the same product and going to create a regular eyeliner on both my upper lash line not going to create any wing or anything just uh defining the top lash line And this eyeliner is really pigmented and long lasting as well Once 
Once the eyeshadow work is done, I'm just going to brush off the excess powder away using a big fluffy powder brush and also going to use a little bit of the same loose powder to set the remainder of the face as well. Then I'm going to take the mascara that I was telling you in the combo that I bought. So this is the Legit Lashes Mascara and it's really really great. So I'm picking up the volume side to apply that to the top and bottom eyelashes. I love the volume side of this mascara. It has again two ends. One is for lengthening and curling and the other one is for volume. So I mostly use the volume side to add a lot of uh, density and volume to my lashes. So I'm just popping that to the top and bottom lashes and these are really really great. I've been really enjoying them at the moment. Then I'm going to take the new uh, K Beauty Compact Powder and this is the darkest shade from the range and I'm going to use that to contour my face. So I'm applying that to the hollows of my cheeks, on the perimeters of my forehead and also on the jawline and under my chin to add a lot of uh, definition and shape to the face and then I'm going to take a blending brush to apply that to the sides of the nose and under the lower lip to add more dimension on those areas. For blusher, again I'm going to pick up a K-Beauty powder blusher and this is in the shade Soft Nude which is such a pretty uh, blusher shade for dusky complexion. So I'm just popping that on the apples of my cheeks and yes, these powders do have a lot of kickbacks so yeah, but it delivers a lot of pigment on the face. So I'm just popping that on the apples of the cheeks. And for highlight, again I'm going to pick up one of my old favorites. This is the Wet and, Wet and Wild uh, Crown of my Canopy highlight lighter popping that on the tops of my cheekbone on the temples cupid's bow on my chin using a fan brush and then i'm going to switch over to a tiny pencil brush to apply the highlighter on the bridge of my nose on the inner corners of my eyes and my brow bone and i love this highlighter because it's got a nice rose gold um, color to it and it complements my skin tone perfectly and it is so so smoothly milled Moving on to the lips, I'm taking the Shambo lip liner in a brown shade and I'm just going to use that to line my top and bottom lips. For lipstick, I'm going to mix two uh, L'Oreal lipsticks and one is in the shade uh, called Rosewood, I guess, which is like a deep mauve shade and I'm just going to apply that on my entire lips. It is so, so beautiful, but I thought it's a little bit more darker. So I went ahead with another uh, lipstick from L'Oreal in a bright pink shade and I'll be concentrating the pink uh, lipstick more so on the center of my lips to add a bit of dimension on the lips as well, creating a subtle ombre effect Then I'm going to take the MAC Fireworks uh, lip gloss. I'll put the details in the description box again. I really don't remember the name. So I'm just going to apply that to the center of the lip to add some juiciness and poutiness for this makeup look. Then I'm going to take the Fume Beauty lashes and this is a huge PR kit that I received and they have such amazing lashes in the kit and I'm using one of these lashes and just going to pop them on top of the um, eyelids and they look really beautiful and super super lightweight even though they are so dramatic uh, they feel quite comfortable and lightweight on top of the eyes
Once that is done, I'm gonna take the e.l.f. Uh, setting mist to lock the makeup in place. So I'm just gonna spray that on my entire face. And that is the finished, fresh, vibrant, popping, pink makeup look for the Valentine's Day. I really enjoyed creating this makeup look for you all. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this. Make sure to give it a huge thumbs up if you did. Comment and do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos. I'll put the link of my Instagram account in the description box. So make sure to follow me over there as well. And yeah, that's about it. And I shall see you guys soon in my next video. Bye.